If we had a dollar for every good thing that happened in 2016, we'd be broke as hell and needing to get our nails done. Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again, and welcome back from your Christmas slash holiday season hangover. Whether that be from drinking too much or spending too much money, we got at least one of those things in common. So now it's time to learn some nail hacks for your broke ass. I generally don't make these kinds of videos because I mostly agree with spending a little bit of money on products that actually work well on your nails so that you struggle less. But I know not all you guys have a day job yet to make that cash money. Maybe you're a broke ass student, been there, done that, I know how it is. So let's roll with this. <laughs> guys, make sure you stay to the end of the video because the last hack is the best also please subscribe and click the like button i'm just gonna slide that in there no one will notice it's harmless it's painless just click it just do it okay thanks bye broke nail hack number one so christmas is over and now you got all this wrapping paper and if your family likes you enough they might have even wrapped your presents in hollow so what are you gonna do with it don't throw it out obviously you're gonna keep it and put it on your nails this was a test i got all this hollow wrapping paper from the dollar store you could try and cut it out to size to fit your nail and stick it on but my guess is if you have really curved nails like mine it's probably just gonna pop right off so we gotta be creative okay now i'm putting on some black nail polish yes it's from the dollar store too no, I don't really like it because it's not opaque in one coat. Ugh, Christine is such a nail elitist. I hate her. The red pattern has squares on it, so let's cut it out like that. I add some clear polish and stick the wrapping paper right on my nail. And now it's a present. You're welcome. And sticking with the cheap theme, we're gonna use this dollar store quick dry glossy taco. <laughs> FYI, it didn't dry in like half an hour. Would not recommend. Ooh, green hollow that kind of looks like a tree. Ooh, let's cut it into a tree. Yes, Christmas is over, but f it. Bam, I cut a tree. Learn that shit in grade three. Stick it on my nail. I ain't gonna fail. When I go to the dollar store, I gotta hustle. Use my money like muscle. Trying to make a dollar. Try and make a dollar out of 15 cents. Tr try to make a dollar. Okay, you may unsubscribe now, bye. Ooh, Silver Hollow. I'm just gonna distract you from that terrible song I just did not sing. Look at all the possibilities. We got all sorts of triangle shapes. Who needs nail foils when you got this? Am I right? They're maybe just sticking up in the corners, but no one else will notice unless you point it out because no one else is paying attention to your nails but you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, you've just won Christmas. I can see BuzzFeed's next article heading now. Average broke women try Christmas gift wrap on their nails. But what about men? We need some equal gender representation in this video. These are my boyfriend's fingers. He resisted doing this, but I made him do it. I got this middle finger gift wrap from the holiday threadbanger box, and I figured, well, that's appropriate for the mood. Size your man's finger up. They normally don't like when we do that. Add some clear polish or glassy taco, and there you go. Go f yourself nails. Thanks, Threadbanger. For the next bro hack, you're gonna need a little baggy. No, not that kind of baggy, you drug addict. A regular Ziploc bag like the one your grandma put cookies in and made you take home from Christmas dinner leftovers. Now we gonna take some dollar store polish. Hey Billy, what's up? And this is the closest thing I could find to hollow. <laughs> Paint that shit on the plastic bag cause we're gonna make a decal. That's right. Other humans uh, call this word a decal, but I say decal because it's more fun to say. Try it. Look at me doing a drag marble. Holy fucking shit. I, this, this was really. Guys, did you see that? I'm fucking good at this. The fuck? It's the classic cat clock. It's back again. About five hours later, I can go to peel it up when it's all dry. And there you go. A cheap alternative to those fancy nail art mats if you ain't got the cat. Place it on your nail and then use a toothpick to help outline the edges of where you're going to cut it. And that's broke nail hack number three. Instead of using one of those fancy cuticle pushers, just use a toothpick. Cut it to size. I'm assuming you have scissors in your home. If not, you could just do this part at school. Don't tell them I said that. Put some kind of polish on your nail. Doesn't matter. Oops, I got a hair, but that also doesn't matter because we're gonna stick the decal on and there you go. You just, you just got your fucking nails did for like no money, bitch. No money. All right, now we're gonna try some traditional nail art techniques, but using the broke ass hack version. First, I'm just painting some dollar store nail polish on my nails. I can't tell you how much I'm loving these polishes. 
<laughs> now normally to do a mess free gradient I like to use either some liquid latex or these cuticle peely tape things to help prevent the polish from getting all over my finger. Today we're using glue because today we are a broke ass bitch. And because everything is glue. Now in ancient simply neological history I once made a video about which of these peely methods was the best and the glue was deemed the worst. <laughs> I hate glue, I hate it! And this video is basically uh, Christine tortures herself. But if you don't have or don't wanna or can't buy the fancy peel off products, just use glue. You gotta glue what you gotta glue, am I right? Instead of using a fancy cleanup brush like all the nail artists to clean up the polish on the skin, I got a tip for Q. Use a Q tip. <laughs> well, just don't stick it directly on your nail or you're gonna have some furry nails. <laughs> Hey, maybe that's another hack. Broke nail hack number six. Don't throw out that makeup sponge you just used to do a gradient. Just cut the polished side right off and bam, there you go, fresh sponge, ready to dab, dab, dab all over again. And no, you can't clean your sponges, it doesn't really work, nail polish hardens, so yeah, just throw that bit out. It's time to steal some more school supplies and use these hole reinforcement thingies instead of nail vinyls or nail stencils. These circle thingies are great for creating a French tip, but don't make it a boring French tip. Make sure you watch my video on French tips that aren't boring as f because you wouldn't want to be that bitch in school, just saying. Oh, well, f me. No, I was not wearing a peel off face coat. And yes, I'd use the dollar store quick dry top coat, which does not dry so quick. So, <laughs> okay, look, it's okay to be short on cash, but if you're gonna spend your money on anything related to nails, I highly recommend getting an actually good quick dry top coat. Cause you're always gonna need the quick dry top coat. You know, you gotta be smart with your money. <laughs> also, also hollow, buy hollow. Instead of spending your hard earned money or your parents' money on dotting tools, you can just use the tip of a bobby pin. It's got some dots already on it, two of them. Look at that, perfect. And what if you don't want to spend money on nail art brushes? Use your head by using your hair. <laughs> you heard me right. You can cut off just a harmless little bit of the bottom of the tips of your hair. It's fine, they're probably split ends anyways. And use that to MacGyver your own paintbrush tool. Here I stuck my hair on a pencil. Yes, I know I did this in another video, but it seemed to be perfectly suited for this one. <laughs> Now what could you use instead of all those fancy nail art mats to have a working canvas for your masterpiece? Well broke nail hacks number 10 has got the answer for you. Start eating your yogurt and saving those plastic lids. Cause these are perfect for messing around with different colors or using it as a painter's workspace to help get your brush going. You could clean this with water for acrylic paint or acetone to remove the nail polish if you wanted to. But I don't bother because I just eat a lot of yogurt so I have a lot of lids. And I'm too lazy for that shit. Holy shit, are you still here? Good, because this hack did not work out. <laughs> Apparently, you can take a loofah, like the thing you shower with, cut off just a tiny piece, and use that on your nail as a stencil for a mermaidy slash fish scale look. It sounds so simple, but it never f***ing works for me. Not this time, not last time. <laughs> and now this is me trying to save that ugly mess that I just made. Well, I tried. Broke nail hack number 11, because we're deleting the last one, it was shit. The dollar store sells holographic tape, bitch! Look at these beautiful pink hollow stars. <gasps> They're silver hollow on the back. The design on this one is practically already made for us, so let's just cut that out. DIY nail stickers, but hollow, so better. So many types of holographic tape, so many possibilities. Cut it any which way you like, you got the freedom. Now that Christmas is over, I'm positive you can find a tree somewhere with some tinsel on it. If the tinsel is hollow, take it, keep it, use it. If it's not, throw it out. Because since we're broke now, we don't got money to buy hollow polish, so we're gonna find hollow in the real world to put it on our nails, huh? Genius. Lifestyles of the hollow sexuals. You could do a hollow French tip thing if you have flatter nails. If your nails are curved like mine, that ain't gonna fly. So here's an awkward looking swerve on my nail. Also hollow ribbons. Don't forget hollow ribbons. You unwrap that present, you keep the hollow ribbon, girl. When you ask for a bows for Christmas and you get this instead of this. 
But it's okay, because broke nail hack number 13 is about using that unicorn skin bow on your nails. I've used unicorn skins before here on my channel in the form of cellophane, but this hack is about salvaging the unicorn skins from Christmas presents. You're gonna take the unicorn skin peelies, you're gonna cut them up into tiny glass-like pieces, put some glossy taco on your nail, and then stick them on. Bam! DIY shattered glass nails. Easy peasy, oh so cheesy. So I'm sure by now you've seen all those fancy chrome nails on Instagram, and you're like, bitch, what the f is that magical powder? Holy shit, it's that much for that little? Well, f that. Well, with broke nail hack number 14 aluminum foil nails, you too can be a basic Instagram bitch. But a thrifty one, just take some aluminum foil, press it against your nail to get the right shape, cut it out, and stick it right on. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Wow, I finally found a reason to take aluminum foil out of my kitchen drawer. What the f do people even use tin foil for these days? Seriously, I, I don't even know. Comment below. Does anyone use this for anything? <laughs> Oh shit, you might have Sharpies at home. If not, you have them at school, maybe. So for hack number 15, we're gonna take some Sharpies and color our chrome nails. So now we can be a rainbow bitch. You can do any design you want, but I prefer to go with the most colorful or obnoxious ones. That's, that's just my personal preference, up to you. And now for the final broke nail hack, putting CDs on your nails. Hey, maybe someone gave you an album on a CD for Christmas and you're like, what the f man, I download my music, bitch. How old even are you? Well, now you got a use for that CD. CDs are hollow, so never throw them out, destroy them. You must keep them, love them, praise them, kiss them. And then you can smash it to get to the hollow. Now, I broke this off camera inside my sweatshirt so it didn't fly everywhere. So please do it safely inside a sweater or get a parent or guardian to do it. I should probably say that anyways, like for your safety, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, I know Hello Mayfi did a video on how to use CDs on your nails, but her technique for removing the hollow on the CD was a little bit different. What I'm doing is just scratching off tiny little pieces so that it's actually like flaky, similar to flaky nail polish. Cause you ain't got money for flaky polish, no, you just got shitty CDs you wanna destroy with anger. Wow, I wanna roll my entire body in this. Now there's a few ways you could put this on your nails. You could try tapping it on with your finger, but I got a lot of Menchi furs doing it that way. <laughs> Manche. <laughs> It's probably just as easy to take a toothpick, lick the tip of it to make it a bit wet, and place the hollow CD flakies on. Just like that. You could cover your entire nail like this if you want. That looks amazing. It's like broken f***ing glass. But hollow glass. You could do like a boardwalk or a winding pathway of hollow. How about a shattered hollow glass French tip? That's definitely not boring. <laughs> or a simple glitter gradient. Whatever you decide, don't forget to add a quick dry glossy taco on top to help seal all the little shattered hollow pieces in. And hollow shit, I think my nail should win album of the year. And that concludes today's Broke Nail Hacks video. Since I don't normally do videos like this, let me know if you guys like this video and you want more videos like this by um. liking this video. Good f***ing sentence, Christine. That's the way likes should work. <laughs> f***ing YouTubers have ruined everything. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next year. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.